Now we're in Buckton's yard. These yards take their names from the property owners or the businesses that were within the yards. And so the names change over the generations as the owners or the businesses change. So in the 1780s, this was Collings Yard, after the Collings family, who were grocers here, and then it became John Buckton's Yard. Mr Buckton was a director of the Stockton and Darnton Railway, and he had his house right at the front of the yard. Um, but then, once he left, it became something of a notorious yard. In the mid-19th century, it became known as White Swan Yard, after the pub that was here. But the pub's inside was so bad, it looked as if the swan was missing a tooth. And so the yard became known as Gaping Goose Yard. The pub itself was a favourite of traders on market days, and it had large forks so they could cook their steaks over the open fire. But the forks had to be chained to the fireplace so the traders didn't use them as weapons when the drink took hold. And the white swan was so rough that it was closed in 1860. Not that the closure of the White Swan changed very much in the yard. For instance, in 1872, Isabella Ibbotson was fined £10 for keeping a brothel here. The Northern Echo reports that when Superintendent Rogers investigated the brothel, he found a number of persons creating great uproar, singing, dancing and otherwise committing improprieties. It sounds quite good fun, but the Northern Echo says it was the worst brothel he had ever known and its demoralising effects on the youth of the town were incalculable. Now, of course, all that has changed and Buckton's Yard has come up in the world, partly thanks to Towns Fund Investment, which has given a new lease of life to all of Darlington's historic yards. Today, it is home to some of the town's best-loved small businesses, including the Sunflower Cafe, Acquaintance the Hairdressers and new tenants, Crafty Merlins. So I'm joined here in Buckton's Yard by Alex Nicholson, who is the Town Centre Partnerships Manager. From your perspective, how has the Towns Fund investment uh, improved, changed the nature of Darlington Town Centre? I think it's just brought lots of colour and vibrancy. We've got lots of exciting new shop fronts that people love to come and see. So great for Instagram pictures and the businesses are really motivated by the fact they've got this sort of upgrade. It's just worked really, really nicely in the Town Centre. There's lots of exciting opportunities in small spaces, in larger spaces, but yeah, we seem to be attracting lots of new businesses into the high street. It's attracting people to Darlington as a welcoming environment for people to come and work on the high street. So we're seeing here in the yards how uh, the Towns Fund Investment is helping bring these uh, places back to life to attract more people in, more businesses in, and really get the town centre flowing again.